independence leader living in exile in Australia. Herman's life in West Papua was very different to the one he leads today. He spent more than 20 years as an activist in a non-violent student's movement. His political involvement had him arrested twice and imprisoned for two and a half years. Upon release, Herman feared the safety of his life and led a group of 42 West Papuan asylum seekers to Australia. But even in Australia, his activism continues. Herman works as a political lobbyist, campaigning for human rights and freedom in his homeland. Herman is visiting Reverend Peter Woods, who worked in West Papua as a missionary for more than seven years. He is also an artist, and his paintings reflect his long involvement with the West Papuan cause. We then went to West Papua, uh, but we realised from day one the difference that the West Papuans experience of life as Indonesians in comparison to the rest of the country. And while we saw the military in uh, Java, it wasn't an oppressive uh, presence, but in West Papua, uh, the uh, oppressive presence of the military was there uh, very obviously, and the people were afraid. I began to hear stories about um, people who had disappeared or been murdered or people who had expressed some protest about what was going on within West Papua, who had been jailed. The desire for greater freedom has been there. There's been an ongoing struggle, but now there has been an increase, especially the last 10 years, in open protests. And um, each time that occurs, there is repressive response. Initially, it was the Dutch who claimed West Papua in 1898, but in the 1960s, the Dutch handed control to Indonesia with the agreement that Papuans would vote to be independent or to integrate. In 1969, the results led to West Papua becoming part of Indonesia officially. However, the vote has been widely renounced as a sham. Many Papuans claim that intimidation and terror in the otherwise limited vote. As last night, uh, my friends in West Papua sent me some information. It happened to a man from my island. His name is Yawan Wayeni. Indonesian military, they came to his garden. The boy on it, his tummy, and he died. When I get SMS or emails from my friends in West Papua, it's like nothing changed there. This footage of Yawan Wayeni moments before death was taken by an Indonesian police officer in West Papua's Yapen Island and later leaked out. Herman has decided to organize a meeting with fellow West Papuan student activists. He wants to find out the current situation in West Papua and has invited two Australian activists to help run a workshop on nonviolent politics. Herman has long lived the principles of nonviolent struggle. His father's brother, Dr. Thomas Wangai, was instrumental in transforming the nature of West Papuan resistance, sowing the seeds of mass participation that have been characteristic of the independence movement since the 1990s. 